Hi guys, and welcome to the latest episode of Sailing Zingaro. Last episode we left you off in the Colombian farm, Rafael's farm, where he showed us around. Uh, it was our best episode so far, if I might say that. Kimmy rode a horse. Uh, <laughs> in this episode we're still in Planeta Rica with Rafael's family. We're worried about the boat a lot because there have been lightning storms. Wicked Going lightning on. storms, yeah, like wicked bad lightning. lightning storms. The lightning in Colombia is cool. It, it's like some of the most beautiful I've ever seen in the world. It almost looks like a flower. It starts from the top and it hits down, and then at the top, it like blossoms out into seven or eight lightning storms. It's almost like it comes up from the from the uh, tierra, the earth, and then it hits the sky and just branches out. It's so beautiful, but it's so scary too. <laughs> Oh, the power is out. What happened? What happened? The light in the fountain. Yeah, energy. So we were worried about the boat. But we had somebody watching it, and that guy called and said everything is okay with the boat. I received a call from uh, the guy from the island, everything is okay. Oh, there was no problem last night. Thanks, buddy. That's pretty <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah he lied. was a lie. He f***ing lied to us. And he was like, oh, well, I just didn't want you to worry. The light was on, and then we had a really bad lightning storm, and the light never came on again. Why wouldn't you tell me that? Because you didn't want to ruin your holidays, and you came back anyways the next day. That's like if I paid you to watch my house, and the house was burning down, but you stopped oh, it burning burnt. down. Okay, so some somebody hit the f***ing mailbox and took it out. Uh, you're not going to tell me that that happened? Well, you're going to be pissed all day long in your holidays, even though you should be relaxing. I don't There's know how I feel about that. There's nothing you can do about that anyway. I don't know how I feel about that, to tell you the truth. Okay, it doesn't matter, because we're going to continue with our story. We got a chance to see a school. So we're at Palma Soria. Palma Soriana. Uh, middle school, high school. It's a government-run school for inner-city kids. The education is completely free, the way it should be, if you ask me. And they, uh, they teach them dancing and painting, and uh, they're going to put on a show for us today. Uh, the principal is Raphael's brother, and we just happen to be here at the right time where they're doing a uh, demonstration of their dancing. It should be really cool. hacían esas actividades para representar eh, su cultura, su, 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 su vida, sus tradiciones. Sí. Somos uno de los que mayores tiempo le dedicamos a la cultura rescatando esos valores. African song coming from the slaves that came to Colombia from the Spanish to Cartagena and all the black people here and it's called Mapale.
check this out. This is the flute that he was playing. It's a, it's a piece of a tube with some putty, some um, like hardening putty over the top, and the tube only goes in about this far. And then it's got a hole here, and then it's a regular flute style with holes like a, like a piccolo or something. Bambooistic. And uh, Can you play this, is, this is a really instru interesting instrument. Yeah. I don't know, we'll see. I don't know how to play. <laughs> this guy's good on it though. Originally made out of a quill from a um, turkey, a turkey quill, and some wax and a piece of bamboo. Piece of bamboo. Now it's plastic and hot putty, but really, <laughs> it's a really cool instrument. Okay, yeah. You ready? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, that was amazing. We got to see a really cool performance. These are inner city kids with a lot of money. Uh, some of these kids have been victims of the drug uh, war in, in Colombia. They don't have parents. They're in government housing. Uh, they really, really could use some, some money and some donation if anybody's watching this and can help them out just a little bit. I'm donating all the proceeds from my Patreon during this video to these guys. So anybody that can help, please. Okay! Yay! <laughs> yes. So that's what they're gonna get from us. If you'd like to donate, please go here to PayPal me slash sailingzingaro. Put school in description and we'll know it's for the school. And whatever money you guys donate for the school will go right to them. So you guys pitch in, and apart from being awesome human beings and um, us being very thankful for you, you're gonna get 20 seconds of pure, very embarrassing footage of us two, because they asked uh, they asked us to dance with them, and uh, yeah. Yeah, so That's whoever donates, whoever donates to us via PayPal, we'll, we'll send a link to your PayPal email <laughs> with some really embarrassing <laughs> dancing footage. I mean, embarrassing for you, not really for me. I, I'm, I have skills. Yeah, right. So let's raise some money for these kids. They're, they were super, super sweet. So the rest of today we spent with Rafael, and he gave us a little tour of Cordoba which ended up being just a zigzag across some back streets because he got lost every turn of meters. As oh my God, does. dude, and it was so hot. It was like the worst tour ever. We were dying. <laughs> so this river goes to San Bernardo, through the ocean, that the end, in San Bernardo. We have no idea where we're going. We're being led by a crazy man. Yeah. <laughs> We may end up getting robbed, beaten, oh, no, and, and okay. stolen. Safe. There is no problem here, bro. <laughs> it's right. You are safe here or not? You are safe? <laughs> For all your oil change needs, that's how they do it in Colombia. Hey, buddy. We've been walking for an hour and a half. We're dying. Where are we going? <laughs> no, it's called Rotonda del Sur. You're sweating through your shirt, man. Yeah. This bro, was a bad idea. I'm so hot. Do you see this? She isn't made for this weather. If the Colombian is taking his shirt off and sweating, it means we should not be here. <laughs> I don't know. If, yeah. People I was, said. I wanted to. I wanted to crawl into a refrigerator. Yeah, that happens pretty often. But that day was. It was especially hot. He's killing us. Okay. We took a bus back to. San Bernardo del Viento and uh, water taxi back to the island the way we came uh, found our boat that was hit by a lightning and we were living La Vida Broca again Dingy was messed up really messed up this time Seriously dude every f***ing time I touch anything on this boat f***ing breaks My dinghy finally kicked the bucket Yeah It needs some serious repairs <laughs> yeah, that thing is a piece of <laughs> Don't buy it portable, people. Uh, I don't remember that. So we took a... Cordoba. We took a... Sorry. We took a... Sorry, I didn't do it. What? Okay. <laughs> Why does it ever work? Never. Right when you start it. Okay, good. 
Hey guys, thank you so much for watching our video. These videos are made possible by people just like you. If you're interested in supporting us and helping us and through our journey and helping us uh, produce these videos, please click here and become part of our crew. We have an amazing crew. We give them weekly updates. You get to see the videos a week early. Anytime we get stickers or anything, we, we just kick them out to you guys. We appreciate everybody that's already on the crew. Our patrons are, Thank you, our, patrons. are our buddies. And don't forget, if you want to uh, donate to the, the school, go to PayPal me slash Sailing Zingaro and uh, donate whatever you want. Just put on the notes that it's for the school. We love you. Have fun. See you next time.